Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. That glare is a beast, ain't it? Lev Farmer 73 here. And I just spent last night doing this. I was gonna do another video, but I was so tired. I wanted to show y'all this, and the only reason I'm going live right now is because I gotta hurry up and get out of here. And good morning, Garden Realtor. I have wanted to show everybody something real slick on the aquaponics. This is not gonna be long, I promise. I just had to show this update and I'm gonna attach this to the other video. So that's the only thing I'm doing right now. So I'm not even gonna wait for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and bust it out. Last night, I mean, yesterday when I got done with the first video, how you doing, uh, Miss Lady For Real? Yesterday when I got um, done with the other video, and I was like, my next step is hooking it to the, to the, um, it'll take as long as I, you know what? I got to get out of here today. I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of parts for this system I want to go get because I want to build a bigger one already. And number two, um, I want to run to the doctor because it's getting about that time to go back to work. And, uh, hey, why is that glaring like that? Okay. Never, never. Hey, Holly Tova. How you doing? Let me see. All right. I'm going to just get into it. But this is especially for the people in California right now. But it's for everybody. Like I told you, I got a bunch of questions. And I've been y'all know I've been doing this whole little series about the lights going out in all the states and all the uh, cities and stuff. Right? I've been doing a little kind of series like get yourself together. Perfect example. Perfect example I wanted to show y'all. Now, I told y'all I'm trying to get the hot, uh, aquaponics and hydroponics going. I did it yesterday. Y'all seen that video. So, without further ado, I'm not even going to stretch this out. Bust it. Y'all seen the aquaponics system yesterday. Good morning, Debbie Thomas. Let's get into it because I'm going to get right smack dab into it. Y'all seen the aquaponics system yesterday running, right? This morning, I literally got rid of the big 15-gallon uh, bucket for the fish tank. I got rid of that because I'm, I'm going to get a bigger bucket. I know where I'm about to go get a 25-gallon uh, tub that's real hot, uh, hard and solid. I'm going to get that right now. That's why I'm rushing. But I wanted to show y'all this first because even Lady Leia said, leave him alone today. Leave him alone for the rest of the day. I said, okay. I really want to show him because I popped this off yesterday. Okay. I know y'all know, uh, I know how to run solar power, right? I did a whole video on solar power with me boiling water and cooking with it and everything, right? So, peep game. I'm going to show you for the people that's got your power going out how simple this is. Check it out. This is the uh, aquaponic setup that I had yesterday, right? Yes, I am like a kid in a candy store. Okay, I took the big black bucket from down there and just ran a five-gallon bucket because I was running a test. Okay, I'm going to run this again. It's coming up. This is supposed to be the fish tank, the bucket, coming up the pump, going into the swirl filter, which I used to use this for my honey bucket, but it never worked out well, so I used put this top on there. So it's being filtered into the uh, swirl filter bucket up here, coming out of this tube, going into the planter box and i did put the celery in there it's not going to stay here okay this is just for show but i scraped the rocks back because i filled it with the clay pebbles well i rinsed them off then filled it up and then you can see where the water level stays right where i want it right there but that's the sweet part y'all already know about the aquaponics from yesterday but now this is where i'm about to hurt the game told y'all What'd you see out there? Remember that solar panel that I had in my other video? Of me showing you me cooking and boiling water with the system array from Harbor Freight? $179? That's the panel I set up outside, coming through my window. This is no more than a lawnmower battery that costs you about $25. Lawnmower battery, not a big battery, not a deep cell battery, not a car battery. A lawnmower battery. Look at the size of my hand. Look at the battery. Okay. That's one of them batteries damn near look like the size to go on one of your kids' power wheels. Okay. And I got it half ass pinched up, set up because I was out up playing last night. I told you. Ain't nothing permanent. 
Got my uh my power inverter and my voltage control meter. So the power from the solar is coming in from the solar, going into the uh, voltage regulator, coming out of the voltage regulator, going into the battery, and the battery is going out into my power inverter. Am I, is this pinched up? Okay, yeah, no wonder. Going into the power inverter, okay? So now I can plug up almost anything that can run off this little battery. That battery is gonna run out of juice real fast, okay? So the bigger battery you got, the more batteries you got, the longer your equipment can last. So I'm just running a quick example of what I was talking about. Now, this is what I wanna show you. Nothing for this whole aquaponics setup is plugged into my house, nothing. Those plugs you see over there, that's for my fan and that's for my cell phone. You know, got a, a lady lady like stuff smell like cookies in here for some reason. Okay, anyway, nothing is hooked up to my house. Everything is hooked up to solar power. All of this running is solar power. Now let me show you what's all hooked to solar power. Uh, the pump down here, the air stone bubbler over here, which is running my aquaponics. And I set up a hydroponics yesterday. So it's, you can see the water in there bubbling and moving around. It's running my hydroponics. And I still, everybody said, what kind of lighting are you going to use? Here you go right here. We're going to switch that on. Bam. LED. Light right there for your, for your plants. I know that's not enough, but I got several of these. And all I got to do is change the bulb. So there you go. You got your lighting. You got your pump running. You got your air running. And I can hook a billion other th different things up to this system right now. And have it all running too. So I wanted to show everybody this because I meant what I said when I said, listen, I'm going to have this totally power free. So if my lights go out right now, if I went out there and hit the big switch in my garage, this will still be running just like this. The only thing power in this aquaponic system and hydroponic system is the sun and a lawnmower battery. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? That's what I'm playing with right there. That's what we doing right there. Now, like I said before, this whole solar setup, good morning, Bull E. This whole solar setup costs you about $179, $200 at Harbor Freight, okay? Now, the aquaponics system, that ain't run me but about $40 for everything. Now, with the solar setup, it comes with two of these lights, two of these LED lights. It comes with that. It comes with the voltage regulator. All you got to do is buy whatever size battery you want or how many batteries you want and whatever size power inverter you want. I don't feel I need one too much bigger than this because the stuff I'm running it off of don't, if something happened, really don't need more than that. So that's, that's what I wanted to show everybody this morning. Lady Liz said, uh-uh, uh-uh, give them a break, give them a break. I wanted to show y'all last night, but there you go. There you go, everybody. It's running, hydroponic, aquaponic system, both running at the same time. Hydroponic, aquaponic, that's, my, that's one of the plant um, planters. That's going to be growing food. That's going to be the fish tank. I'm about to go pick that up right now, but that's just an example, okay? So everybody's like, oh, five gallon bucket. That's just an example. That's where the fish are going to be. Swirl filter, filtering the solid waste from the fish to go out into the garden. Solar power array. Bada boom. There you go. Pulled that junk off, right? So I am happy right now. 
And honestly, I had to get that out of my system because I was losing my damn marbles. Cause I'm like, it's working. I felt like Dr. Frankenstein, it's alive. It's alive. Shit. <laughs> I feel so good because listen, y'all, you don't understand something. You know what? This kind of shit will bring tears to your eyes when you really think about it real deep. I'm growing food for nothing. No nothing. No power. Just the sun. This whole system is running and I could run more equipment right off of that solar power. Everything is running. At night, when the lights go out, there you go. Whatever energy is stored in however many batteries you got, that's what run it. Those batteries at night is what run your system. During the day, it's running purely off of that solar power. So there you go. You, man, you can't tell me nothing right now. You can't tell me anything right now. Let me get in here and holler at y'all before I get out of here. Good, good morning, Miss Lady for real. Good morning, Miss uh, Garden Realtor. Good morning, Holly Tova. Good morning, Debbie Thomas. Good morning, Bear Fruit Garden. She say, good morning. It's, a, it's good to see you so passionate about something. Aquaponics, so much energy coming through the screen. Because I feel, I feel great. I feel great. Because, you know, I was, I know it'll work, you know. But when you see it work, when you do it and you actually put your energy into it and watch it work, we're watching this junk work right now. We doing this right in real time. I was going to just record a video, but I said, no, 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 no. I want to go live. We want to watch this live. So I wanted to show you in real time how this works. Okay. Uh, let me get back in here. Uh, God really said, me too, excited about it. Oh, man, it just it just works. Uh, little Slice of Paradise Homestead, good morning. Said, all this star mail, I changed my name. Oh, oh, hey, star, how you doing? I like that name. Little Slice of Paradise Homestead, I like that name. Very nice. Very easy to remember. Uh, Cat Sam uh, work smarter, not harder. Exactly. Love the setup there. Thank you very much. Good morning, Bull E. Good morning, Superman 42.0. Got you. What's up, man? Debbie Thomas, I can dig it. Can you dig it? That's what's popping, y'all. We did it. We did this together. Oh, y'all helped me do all of this. You know? That I think I don't that's the best part. Is like, you know, when somebody tell you a winning ticket. A winning number. They say, look, if you go talk to such and such, go talk to Miss Um Jean. Tell her Earl sent you. Okay. She gonna get you to hook up with that job they just offering. She gonna let you go first. Just tell her Earl sent you. Next thing you know, you working and you getting that paycheck all because somebody hooked you up. Somebody gave you that inside track. That's how I feel right now. I feel like this is my paycheck. That first paycheck from uh, Uncle Earl giving you the hookup. That's y'all, Uncle Earl. Y'all was like, Led, this is how you do it. This is what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the difference. Uncle Earl can tell you everything you need to know. But if you don't go down there and talk to Miss Jean, you don't put the initiative in it. You don't put the energy and the power into it. It never happens. Then you'd be like, Uncle Earl don't never hook nobody up. Everybody know people like that. They don't never hook me up. Uncle Earl gave you the inside track, but you rather went over to your girlfriend's house, laid up with her and pumped her full of babies you can't afford. You know what I'm saying? I get all in that story. Some of that was true. Anyway, can y'all dig that? You can't tell me nothing right now. Uh, uh, Hidden Harvest Lights, how you doing this morning? Uh, said, I'll mail one to you today. I missed something. Okay, no worries. Uh... Superman 42.0, Hidden Harvest Grow, li uh, grow Lights, Bear Fruit Garden, uh, Hidden Harvest, okay, got you, got you, Garden Realtor, that is awesome there, thank you so much, Garden Realtor, Star Duster, Star Duster helped me get into the game too, 
Uh, congrats, Lee, and grow that food. I'm about to pop it off. Thank you so much, Starduster. Um, let me see. He and Harvey grow like 85% of my customers are doing this, Lee, and my lights are 30 watts. You can't go wrong. See, that's why I told y'all when the lights and stuff be popping out, I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not scared. All my batteries stay charged. And I know I got my solar. See, that panel ain't got to be outside. The only reason it's not in my kitchen is because I don't have any space with all the rest of this shit in here. So I just went on here and told it outside. But like I said, I, keep, I had it in my dining room from the last time the lights went out. Okay, let me keep going. Uh, let me see. Uh, Starduster, how often do you think a battery will have to be replaced? Um, you talking about the battery that you use for your solar? It's a deep cell battery. You should be using a deep cell battery like from a boat. The reason why is because you can run all the power out of them down to nothing, down to zero. And it's not going to bust the cells inside. So inside each battery is a cell wall. That's why sometimes people, you need a new battery because they let the liquid run down too low. And once those grids, the grids come up like this. And once that, let me put this down. And once that, that uh, acid runs down this, this far, these start connecting because they bending in. And that's what blows your battery out. See, a deep cell battery is made completely different than that. So you can run that liquid all the way down. The energy, it'll drain like that, and it'll still stay there until, until you recharge it. Charge it back up, and it's fine. So a deep cell battery, a solar system is made, because think, you only get an energy when the sun is up, right? Anything else, like at night, you're just, you're just running off the battery. So sometimes you might have too much stuff running, you don't know how much energy you're using, which you should have a, um, a voltage regulator to show you what your battery meter is. So you run that juice too far down and it won't mess that battery up. That's a deep cell marine boat battery, okay? So that's how that works. I'm just running a lawnmower battery. I've got a couple lawnmower batteries, a couple car batteries in the garage because I was like, eh, you know. The right way, though, is to get a solar battery or to get a deep cell battery. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me see. Hey, Cajun, how you doing? Post Realness absolutely put it into action. Amen. Bear Fruit Gardens said, yep, application is knowledge and power. Amen. Uh, Chris Sheffield, uh, speaking the truth. Yes, I'm trying. Internet, I got to have, oh, I got to go back and watch the previous videos to catch up. It's just, it's just the whole family, the whole Greenhouse Lounge family helping us all learn how to do um, aquaponics and hydroponics. Everybody teaching old lead how to do it. So we're all learning this together at the same time. Everybody is putting their own experiences in it and we all getting something out of it. So this setup, this whole hydroponic setup is the brainchild of all of the Greenhouse Lounge family. Now, the solar power, I'm just throwing my two cents in because hey, I didn't know nothing about hydroponics, aquaponics, so I kind of figure everybody just doing hydroponics and aquaponics and thinking of doing it, I put my little twist on there, throw some solar on that junk. You ain't even got to use your house uh, energy. That way, when these lights keep going out, you like this, like me, like, hmm, whatever. Just make sure your gun is on your hip or your baseball bat. And it is what it is. So I have the whole setup, lights, food, filter. All I ain't got is the fish. Everything running right now. Uh, okay, what kind of fish are you going to use? Lady Laird want me to try some goldfish, which I'm going to go get today. I really want, listen, I really want to get everything today. I, I, I'm going I'm to kid you not. Right now, I feel like uh, a kid at Christmas time, you know, Christmas is in a week, but the kid want this toy right now. You're like, no, Christmas is in a week. Or are you hungry? Oh, man. The kid get upset. The kid get, that's how I, oh, that's how I feel. I'm excited. I want to do everything right now. Right now, my patience level is at zero. I promise you that. I know that's wrong, but my patience is at zero. So that's why I say, okay, uh, I've only, okay, I've been on 19 minutes. I'm going to stay on a second longer to read this, and then I'm out. I got to go. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Keep it going. Keep it going. Chris, Chris Sheffield, speak on the truth. Got that. Stardust, the great information on the battery. Trust me. You can experiment like I'm doing with a little garage battery, a little lawnmower battery or something. I promise you, it's best you go with the deep cell battery. Trust, trust and believe that, okay? I started my whole system out with that years ago, and it was, it was for the best. The only thing, I sold those batteries with one of my boats, and then I start getting cheap. But stuff is happening so weird, and I'm needing this solar power more and more to the point I'm like, I better go ahead and get me some, some deep cycle batteries and uh, run them in a ring like I had my last system. Okay. Chris Sheffield. Yes, sir. Deep, deep cycle marine battery. Best option would be a six volt golf cart battery. Right. Right. Well, that, that's what I got. No, no, no. I know what you're talking about. Right. Right. I'm thinking lawnmower. You are right. Because they pretty much the same. You're right about that. And they run them in parallel. Exactly. Um, let me see. Antoinette, thank you about the solar power info. I'll be purchasing the system soon. It's only $199 or one, it's, it's between $179, $199 at Harbor Freight. And if you look online to get that coupon, that's 20% off. Get that coupon. Get Harbor Freight popping. And, and the system, honestly, this system, I've had this now for seven years this is the old system this is the old system and it's still pumping out this much power remember the battery i'm running it off for look like a power wheel battery that you can buy from toys r us so it's just a it's just a lawnmower mo battery you can hold in your hand like this so don't let that housing fool you that black housing i got that just so nothing like water gets on it or moisture and because it was going to go in my chicken coop and it was going to be a solar bank in there I, I mean a battery bank inside the coop but i never done that the chicken's too stupid they be done pet the damn battery and blow their asses up so uh <laughs> I, I was giving them more credit at the time than they deserve okay Antoinette say i have to stay with a notebook on these lives so many jewels drop thank you so much we 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 doing it. We doing it. Starduster says uh Geek Up has free solar panels, just pay shipping. They are not big, but they are free. That's good information right there. That's excellent information. Um, and I'm gonna write that one down. Okay, I'm gonna look into that. Internet says, Oh yes, I saw the coupon. Yeah, on uh Harbor Freight. Debbie Thomas, how much do you think it'll pull? P, okay, we're wise, indirect. Okay, I don't understand your question because it's, it's words all over the place. Can you rephrase that, please? How much do you think it'll pull P? Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, shipping is like 2 or $3. 2 or $3, that's still free to me if you think about it for what you're getting. Power-wise, okay. How much do you think it'll pull power-wise? Indirect, indirect light. So you saying like how much with the soul? Cause your it's still all over the place. I can't really get it. I'ma just try. You saying how much power will the panels pull? Like say in indirect light. Saying like um like a cloudy day, something like that. Because I'ma show you something. That's what question I had seven years ago, and it still brings. Okay, I got you. So it still brings in. I, don't get me quoting on the, on the voltage, okay? I'm going to show you the voltage meter. That's it right there. And right now, I'm, hey, good morning, Green Organic Love. I done had my juice for the day. Now I'm hyped up. Uh, it's pulling in 11.5 volts. It's actually pulling in 14 volts. If I take this battery loose, okay, it's on three of those volts are going charging the battery constantly. So it brings in 14 volts, but that's, here's to answer your question. This to answer your question, okay? Indirect light. Let me come over here by the window. Sun ain't out yet. See, it's in the shade, it's under a tree. All you see down there, that's not light, that's reflection. So it ain't even in the sun yet. 
on a cloudy day, it'll bring in just as much energy. Um, it will be less, but it's still bringing enough energy for you to power your system. And, well, basically to be charging your batteries, which powers your system. So I've ran them on rainy days because our, at my old land, I used to have a ranch style home. The lights went out there all the time. And I had this outside and trust me, when those lights went out, it's because it's raining, it's storming, it's cloudy. I kept that solar panel out there and it wasn't bringing in all the power, but it kept my batteries leveled off enough where at night we still had light. We still had all the power we needed. I even had enough power where I used to have, back in those days, I had a, um, a DVD player and one of these little TVs, little 13 inch TV, it ran all of that and the lights that we need. So it it still worked, even on rainy, cloudy days. It was rainy and cloudy and stormy for days, so it worked. Okay, let me see. Uh, Debbie Thomas, I have, I have a porch that doesn't see direct sunlight late in the afternoon. Let me tell you something else. If you go back and look at my solar setup video, this is what I normally do. This is actually my very first video of me, let me let me think because I don't want to lie. Yeah, I used to just use my solar panel at my old house. I've never done a video with my solar panels outside. Never. This is the very first time I've made a video with me having my panels outside. Because back in them days, I was just trying to survive. I wasn't trying to be recorded and showing nobody shit. Now, here's another thing. If you go back and look at those videos I'm showing you, my solar panels are sitting right there inside the house collecting the same rays we getting right now which was running energy lights and and i had all kind of electric components hooked to it oh i was cooking i had a little i got a, a two eye hot plate i was cooking on that to show everybody it still worked that's why i don't believe in generators because that solar power panel can be in your house in a window and Nobody's gonna see it when shit ain't going down, right? Nobody can run up and steal it. Generators get stolen every five minutes. So, and I ain't gotta worry about gasoline. So there you go. Um, Debbie Tom, okay, got you, got you. Uh, Starduster, Led, do you have a video that lists all the products you're using? I'm playing catch up. You know what, Starduster? I'll email you everything. I'm gonna tell you right now, here, here's the thing. Are you talking about the aquaponics or just the solar array? Because solar array is even easier to name off than the aquaponics. Because I know you already know about the aquaponics and hydroponics. If you're talking about the solar, Debbie Thomas said, oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. All right, Garden Realtor, did she, did she leave me? Have a great day. Have a great day, Garden Realtor. I'll see you later, okay? Uh, Miss Lady For Real, someone stole our neighbor's generator during the Hurricane Rita. Glad we didn't get one. See, it's, and I see them on sale all the time. I just I just don't see the point. I refuse to get one because when I live back home, I'm going to tell you the real reason I didn't get generators. Before I started thinking about the gasoline problem and how that can affect it, back home where I'm from in the snow, people didn't put their generators outside because they knew it would get stole. And they didn't have a whole bunch of sense, or I ain't going to say that. They just wasn't hip to the scene. They would bring that generator, that loud generator in the house and kill themselves. And it happened every single winter. Just as many people got killed by um, the fumes from a gas generator that got killed falling through ice back home or freezing to death. So that was always a don't do that one. You know, I... I've had a couple, and I always sell them. Because after a while, I'll just be like, mm, nah, it ain't worth it. Okay, um, I will. I will, Garden Realtor. I got you. I can see it. It's hiding. It's hiding what you're saying. Okay, uh, let me see. Stardusters, both. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did for aquaponics. I'm going to tell you solar first, okay? For the solar, I cut... Everything you need is going, if you plan on getting it all separate, okay, I would like to order right now. Okay, I personally, for a starter, the 
easiest setup. Go straight to Harbor Freight and order their, um, their kit because it comes with uh, the panel and their new one comes with four of those panels. That's only three. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me open it up. You can see it's three panels on there with the little thing set up. All of that's together. I didn't buy nothing extra. Then it comes with your um, voltage regulator. That regulates how much energy goes into your battery so it don't blow your battery up. Or if your battery is already full, you know, it won't blow it up and it won't drain it. That regulates the energy. That is important. Okay, you need that. And it comes with that, the panel, and two lights. Two of these. The other one is over there in the corner. All you have to buy extra is a whatever size power inverter you want. This is where you plug everything into. Okay? Changing one current into another current. So that's all you need that kit a battery and a power inverter everything else comes with it you can't beat that now once you learn how this system works and you feel you you want to go out and build your own system your own solar array that's when you have the knowledge to build it because once you see what all of this stuff does and how it works and the rest is history. Like I can go out and build a whole solar array because I know I will probably, if I want to run a lot of stuff, a bigger power inverter, a better, more quality voltage regulator, uh, a voltage meter, bigger batteries, more solar panels. I could build it now because I know what I'm doing. But for the starter, come on, <laughs> you can't go, you can't get better than that. Because all that stuff online costs so much money and you don't know what you're doing. And those is hooked up for people that's more professional. And they're going to be doing some soldering. They're going to be doing some wiring. This is plug and play. This is plug and play. Now, with the aquaponics, y'all help me with that. With the aquaponics, this is all I have right now. Four elbows. Let me get in. Let me let me turn this camera around. Okay. I had four of these elbows that just I use, I like using the flexible tubing because I can move that anywhere I want. All the hard PVC was like if you if you cut it, glue it, set it, it's stuck the way it is. I like being able to move it around because I don't know how I'm gonna be setting it up. So four elbows, four rubber grommets to, to go into the hole that you drill. I got, I think this was 20 feet of flexible tubing. From, this came from Home Depot. This, you can buy these at Home Depot too, all of this. I don't know how much they are at Home Depot. Um, the clay, clay pebbles, that was a... Uh, I bought a big bag of that. Where is that stuff at? I bought a big bag of that. And uh, I think that was like the, a 50 pound bag of it. And this is just a little bit of it that filled this tub up. So that was like uh, $15. I was doing hydro, but I like to do aquaponics. Uh, to me, it ain't too much different, really. I mean, the hydroponics... That's the setup that you was talking about right there. All I did was, look, same tub, just different way of doing it. I got the, the baskets in here, the water in there with the bubbler down. The bubbler is running off of solar. And you can see the bubbles down in there pumping out. There go my dog on celery. So I got the hydroponics. But I really wanted to start with the aquaponics because I want the fish. I know y'all don't eat meat, but I want to harvest fish when it's time to harvest fish. And at the same time, harvest my leafy greens. Then with the swirl filter, all the doo-doo and gunk to go to the bottom of that, when I clean that out, that will feed my garden. Because that's real, real-time fish emulsion. 
So that's why I like the aquaponics. And as far as the stuff I name, that's it. You can get one of these buckets anywhere. See, I got mine from Firehouse Sub. You know these cost about five, six dollars at Walmart. These tubs. Uh, now, the, what cost me the most was this pump. I didn't have to get a pump that big, but I figure the bigger the better. I can control the power. So I got a um, one sump pump. That air bubbler was $13. The pump was like, I'm going to say $20. So that cost the most money. That was the big investment. Everything else is really a joke. The solar power, just say the whole setup, the whole setup will run you. That's $199. This was $50. So that's $250. $250. No, no, no. Just say $275 because of the little battery. But I ain't adding that because you can put whatever kind of battery you want. But this, what I'm running right now, cost me about $250. Everything for the solar. No, that's not an amp, Naked Gardener. That's a... <laughs> see? See, you showing your hood. Don't show your hood. Don't let them see, <laughs> don't, don't let them see your hood, bro. Um... No, that's a, uh, a power inverter. <laughs> Don't let them see your hood, partner. I know what's up. I burnt up many of them in my day. Trust me. So uh, let me get back on here real quick, and then I'm going to get out of here, y'all, okay? Uh, let me see. I just want to talk to y'all real quick, see if anybody said anything. Okay, I'm going to holler at you, Garden Realtor. Debbie Thomas, I'm going to experiment with some panels. I would. Give it a shot. Uh, Starduster, aquaponics and solar system. The email will be truly appreciated. I'll make sure I, I send the list to you, okay? Stephanie Jones. Good morning, Stephanie Jones. All right. Um, Green Organic Love. I have that inverter. I ordered it on Amazon on the last power outage. Amen to that. You can't go wrong. Little Slice of Paradise said, definitely going to have to rewatch when I get home and writing everything down. That's why I'm kind of trying to keep it short. Only 37 minutes. Okay. Uh, Starduster, I was doing hydro, but I would like to do aquaponics. I want to do both. Hey, Rose 5150, she says, I still eat meat. I, uh, Green Organic Love says, I eat fish. See, I'm, I'm a meat eater. I am. So, I need, I need my fish, if, if not nothing else. Okay, uh, Weather Channel says, Breaking News. Homes burning near Los Angeles as giddy fire forces thousands, forces thousands, including, hold on, including LeBron James to flee. Get your stuff together. Get your stuff together. When they telling LeBron James he got to leave his mansion, get your stuff together, y'all. Okay, uh, let me see. Starduster, it's worth it for sure. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the Naked Garden, I thought you was about to do some booming. Them, them my old days. My booming sisters, and trust me, I had them beats. You hear me? I had them beats. Couldn't nobody get with my trunk, son, if you dig what I'm saying. So that's that's the old me. I leave that to my son now. Uh, good morning, Miss Finance. How y'all doing? So, I just wanted to throw that information out at y'all. Wait a minute. Miss Lady For Real says, Harbor Freight is showing 100-watt Thunderbolt Magnum solar kit for $189. This is without a coupon. I just checked. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Lady For Real. Because I keep, you see, I keep saying, between $179 to $199, thank you. So, that's $189 for that kit. Now, remember, that kit is better than the one I got. That's the newer updated kit with more juice, pump out more juice. Because you get one extra panel. And I think, ooh, I can't remember. I can't remember how much these panels put out. I mean, bring in. I can't remember. Um, let me see. I am Janet. Say, good morning. How you doing, I am Janet? And thank you, Miss Lady, for real. Thank you. Frank's Fly Tribe. What's going on, bro? Said 100 one hundreds are missing their mail right now, lad. That ain't none of my business. I'm off, bruh. I don't even want to talk about work. When I'm off, I'm off. Let me see. About to order. Okay, Stardust. Trust me, 
You can't go wrong with this system. I'm going to say that. I've had this same system for over seven years. I've been using it. Not just had it stored somewhere. I promise you, it sits right here. It's been sitting here in my dining room because I use it, put it back. Instead of me taking it back to the garage and hauling it through all these doors, even Lady Lea said, when you going to put that solar panel back in the garage? I said, baby, we keep needing it, remember? That's the only reason she stay off my back about it. Because right there at the back door, can run right out the back door with it. Or put it right here in the kitchen. Okay, uh, Stephanie Jones, I need the list too. I'm going to have solar. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And, and not just e emailing everybody, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put out one of those bulletins and put the list on the bulletin. Because it ain't that much stuff. I'm going to put up. A solar uh, list out and I'm gonna put an aquaponics list out now remember I'll take credit for the solar power but I'm giving y'all all the credit for the aquaponics because if y'all would have told me what I need I wouldn't have knew okay and here's another thing about that if y'all do know more about these both of these um systems don't hesitate to tell me I'm not shy I won't bite nobody just for correcting me okay so there you go. Uh, Stephanie Jones said, I need this list too. Antoinette, Wattage. Green Organic Love, me too, Starduster. I'm going to put this list up for you guys, okay? I really appreciate everybody coming and hollering at me real quick. I just really want to show y'all one more time. Just so for the people that just got in here, okay? For the people that just got in here. Hold on, let me take this off again. I just want to show y'all this setup one more time before I go. Be careful with solar panels on the roof. My ex had lightning. Yeah, okay. Um, look, one more time. This is the plant bed. I got my clay pebbles in here. This runs out of the plant bed, out of the tube. This is supposed to be the fish tank, into the fish tank, down into the pump, up the pump, into the swirl filter that filters the solid waste out the water get drained out the drain tube out of here nice clean water back into the plant bed with all the good nutrients the best part about this system is it's not plugged into the house it's running off of all solar panels oh did i leave out the lights we can't leave out the lights ladies and gentlemen don't leave out the lights so, all of this is running off of that solar panel right there. That's it. Nothing is plugged up into my house. The, the oxygenator, nothing. Everything is running off of solar. Everything. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to show you all that real quick because so, I was so excited last night. I'm telling you, I was going to do one more video. Lady Led was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let them rest. Let them rest. They tired of you. I said, I believe it. But some of these people need this information. Some of these people want this information. So I had to wait. She made me wait. So there you go, you guys. That's it. Solar power, aquaponic, hydroponic system running off of pure solar power, free, God-given energy. All right? That's it for now, you guys. Lev Farmer 73, I hope y'all got any of this. I hope, I hope y'all got any of this because this is blowing my mind. And even I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. This is even blowing my mind. That's how happy I am because I can't believe this is working and working so well. So thank you guys for everything, okay? Thank you for all your information. Thank you for all of the, the good information that y'all spread and let me know. Because I was writing that stuff down the other day. Y'all seen me, right? So, look, I'm so excited. I'm sweating. And it's, it's cold in here. <sighs> thank you, guys. Lair Farmer 73, I love y'all. And I'm out. Look at that. That thing running like, like clockwork. And I just set it up temporarily. That's temporary. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day, okay? Little Farmer 73, I love you, and I'm out.